Good morning. Hopefully. Hopefully. Can't find it yet. One viewer. Yeah, one viewer. Four Hopefully that's not us. But it's four now. Good morning everybody. Hopefully. What's going on with Facebook? Should get some notifications. We've got seven. About who's watching. Who I can say good morning to. There we are. Good morning, Howard. Thank you. Right. Morning, Irene. Morning, Marion. Morning, Malcolm. And Irene. Morning, Chess. Morning, Fiona. And Simon. I hope, I hope you guys are doing better. To keep praying for you. I hope you recover quickly. Morning, Jill. Morning, Susie. Morning, David. Morning, Julie. Good morning, Sandy. Morning, Marion and Pauline. Let's see if I can get that camera a little bit higher. And excuse the wobbling for a second. Kelly. Morning Caroline. Yeah, sorry about that Gareth. You should be used to being at Siva. Morning Carol, morning Anne. I do have both boys off today, so I've got Samson doing the words for me again. It's gonna be a little bit like old times. So I hope you enjoyed the old times. What time is it? Officially, what's the clock time, Sam? 10.01. 10.01, right, let's begin then. So yeah, I just want to bring a short encouragement to you this morning, something that Sarah um, Horsley read during the prayer meeting on Wednesday from Isaiah chapter 40. Um, and then we're going to sing worship Jesus. So Isaiah um, is a book written to, uh, basically it's the prophecies to the kingdom of Israel as they fell in the last days and went into captivity. Um, it can be hard going sometimes, but Suzanne just leaving for work. Um, but within this there are some, some great encouragements and you can really see the heart of God for his people. Um, that comes across in Isaiah 40. I'm going to read from verse 26. Lift up your eyes on high and see who created these. Talking about the inhabitants of the earth. He who brings out their host by number, calling them all by name, by the greatness of his might, and because he is strong in power, not one is missing. Why do you say, O Jacob, and speak, O Israel, my way is hidden from the Lord, and my right hand is disregarded by my God? Have you not known, have you not heard, the Lord is the everlasting God, the creator of the ends of the earth, he does not faint or grow weary. His understanding is unsearchable. He gives power to the faint, and to him who has no might, he increases strength. Even youths shall faint and be weary, and young men shall fall exhausted. But they who wait for the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall mount up with wings like eagles, they shall run and not be weary. They shall walk and not faint. And within these verses, we, uh, we, we can see here God's, God's heart, God's encouragement, reminding us that we are not unnoticed by him. He sees us and he cares for us for justice and for our rights. And 
our trials and our sorrows and our difficulties and inconveniences at this time as well don't don't go unnoticed by him he's not an uncaring god um, and he assures us down in verse 31 they who wait for the lord shall renew their strength it's a promise from god that those who, who hope on him will find his grace uh, and will find his provision um, um, it's good to remember at the moment that we are not forgotten. Um, I know some of us are, some of the church are having to isolate, um, not absolutely isolate and not see anybody. We're all, we're all looking towards a, a Christmas that's gonna be like no other, where we don't get to spend it with all the family we want to. Some people will still have to isolate again. Um, and some of the church are going through very difficult times at the moment with, health complications and loved ones in hospitals and things like that um, but we are not forgotten by God uh, Psalm 121 reminds us that uh, he who keeps us does not sleep or slumber and we have we have these these hopes these truths um, these promises actually because of Jesus because Jesus came for us uh, this time we celebrate this time of year um, he came as a baby to redeem us Steve called it cosmic salvation plan the other night um, and that's yeah, worth reminding ourselves um, in our hearts that that's what this time of year is about Actually, it's not about family it's about God's salvation and you know, we get our love of family from, from God that's his creation too and it's right that we still care for each other and look out for each other at this time but our gaze and our focus should be on Jesus on his, his sacrifice and him coming to earth and, and saving us so um, this morning I thought we'd sing um, something a bit Christmassy just to remind ourselves of that so we're going to sing his name shall be <laughs> alright Seth
Lord, we thank you. You came to save us. One name, Lord, one name above all others, paid for all our sin. Lord, please help us to focus and remember these truths as we run into Christmas, Lord, despite all the difficulties around us. Lord, our eternal salvation has been won by your great sacrifice for us. We do thank you for that, Lord. And we just pray that you encourage my brothers and sisters today, Lord, fill them with your spirit. Give them strength, Lord, and let them indeed rise up on wings like eagles. Thank you, Lord Jesus, for your love. Amen. Yeah, thank you for tuning in this morning. Sorry for the rustiness, but uh, I hope you enjoyed it anyway. I hope that's an encouragement. Have a great day. God bless you all. Goodbye.